if you did not watch the first part yet so link in the description box disclaimer all the character and incident are fictional everything is imaginary in this episode on compare with your own life is just based on imagination not a reality well i change the background pictures is he is going to pretend a sweet lovely husband forever both of you are laying side by side on the bed you rolled your eyes i have to complete my work as soon as possible cuz i can't stay here you muttered he opened his eyes and spoke seeing you beside him and you think i will let you go my darling is like her mother planning at midnight you turned towards him oh so my man is watching me so you already accept me as your man you smiled over and he pulled you closer by your waist my mind went frozen i can't understand anything at that time love he slid his finger on your forehead to jaw you close your eyes she thinks i would the girl i hate the most he you opened your eyes he felt his heart skip beat she thinks right you smirk under the you are playing against me dude i already win the war before even doing anything i suffered some years because of you and now you will suffer a whole life because of me next morning you wake up in the morning and you look down your eyes widen your cheeks turn red you sat up after wearing your clothes then you looked around jungkook you called his name you got up from the bed you walked towards the door he locked the door and rushed to the bed again you picked up your phone and dialed the number hello oh why i was waiting for your call now listen to me carefully you have to find his record file you have five months okay but i had no idea about his mansion who knows he hide his file in his workplace focus girl you need to make him fall in love with you you gain his trust so he share all his secrets with you what about my passport visa and tickets don't worry everything will be ready once you finish your work Suddenly you heard someone open the door so you quickly got up hang up the call but he was Jungkook he came out from the bathroom after taking shower he frowned his eyebrows are you all right you are sweating you gulped and nodded yeah i'm i'm fine he walked to you you felt your cheeks burning love i'm going to my workplace but i can't left you here you can come with me so if you want to come with me get dressed up cuz we don't have much time First I have to check this mansion then his workplace if he's going to his workplace then I have time to explore this mansion to find his file I'm not feeling well so I stayed here he smiled okay then see you he bent down and back on your lips by you chuckled and he left Some hours later in his workplace he was watching your every move you literally explore his mansion you check every room every drawer he let you proceed your plan just to see how dangerous you are to understand what you really want to achieve each and every move you made showed your goal and so my darling wants my file but he smiled off when he saw you adding something in water you know what why you are same dangerous like your mother you want to just as your mother did some years ago you were hiding yourself behind the wall mom tears streaming down from your eyes your mom up on the chair there was a boy who was standing in the front of her where are you bro please come fast and that boy was Jeon Jungkook who was not in mafia but in mafia training he was 
standing in the front of your mother. He just asked one last question to her. I know you regretting everything. She chuckled and shook her head. He deserved that. He twisted his eyebrows and then you also deserve that. Your eyes were done. Boss police. What? Mohamm, you got up. Tears streaming down from your eyes. He turned back. His eyes met yours. He reflecting the same mistake your mother did made. He blinked his eyes. One of his men held his hand. Let's go, sir. You wipe your tears. I will never forgive you, John Jungkook. You throw the water from the bottle. I can't so easily. You deserve something horrible than this. Listen, Jungkook, she is not like her mother. He chuckled. What if I tell you she thinking about to? His eyes wouldn't. Not like her mother or more dangerous than her uncle just because of you. I tied up my hands or you already know why I marry her. Jungkook, I'm going to London for some work. For a month. When I will be back, I will tell her everything, okay? But please, until then, don't tell her about it. And please don't hurt her. He rolled his eyes in frustration. What can I say now? You already ruined my plan. Days passed. You were trying to find his record file while he was trying best to pretend of loving you. Now you are sitting in his library and reading a book. You felt someone's existence. You turned around and you got Paul seeing a lyric right in the front of you. He put his in your head. You think I will let you go? P -p put it down, Elric. You played with me. You cheated on me, stupid. You were hanging out with other girls like, I don't know, huh? You almost yelled at him, but then all of a sudden, your eyes are blur, blurry. Jungkook were walking to his room, and suddenly he heard your voice, Vyan. He twisted his eyebrows and rushed to the library room. Jungkook's eyes widened when he saw his brother putting his in your head, and then he rushed to you. Before you fell on the floor, he wrapped his arm around your waist and pulled you towards him, Vyan. He pat on your cheeks, Vyan, and he clenched his jaw and looked at Alaric. B -b bro get out but at least listen to me he carried you in his arms i said get out some hours later when you opened your eyes the first person you saw was your husband june jungkook sitting next to you you tried to got up but out of sudden you felt a sharp pain in your head Jungkook looked at you. He quickly wrapped his arm around you to help you. Are you alright? You looked at his face. You squinted your eyes. Why he is worried about me? He is not pretending to be caring. He is worried about me. I can see through his eyes. But why? You blinked your eyes. What happened to me? He was waiting outside. Doctor finally came out. How's my wife? Am I going to use Gwendy eyes? We are going to be parents. Your eyes wouldn't. What? No way. He might be lying. What if I say I don't want this child? I'm just 24. Don't you dare to. It's my life and it's my decision. He grabbed your elbow, not gently but tightly. Don't be like your mother. Don't repeat the history. Just as your mother used your father for. My dad, without even thinking about you, you are doing the same. But I'm not like your father who will divorce you. I will keep you with me for the rest of my life, even if you cry. And this is our child. If something happened to him, first I, then I will. 
What did you say? My mom used my father? Yes. Your father was my dad's brother. Your mother married him just for getting revenge from my father because he rejected her and got married to my mom. Your mother was just a psychopath. And once your father finds out she married him just for revenge, his brother, he divorced her. But you choose your mother instead of him. She never wants you, just ask your father. And once she gained my father's trust, she right in the front of my eyes. To be continued. So what do you think? Why and repeat the history? Tara bye bye. See you. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.